Good day, everyone, and you are welcome to Cetro's vlog channel today. I remain Jackie Cetro, and I always have my funny husband. This is Dia Cetro, the most capable, outstanding husband of the year that is migrating to what we call the prolific Shekoni husband. <laughs> Please, if this is your first time of this, on this channel, okay. your first time on this channel, Please don't forget to subscribe. Press that notification bell. Is it here? Is it here? Anyway, it is. Please press it. Then love our videos. Like, 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 video. like, like, and just press that thumbs up and do what? Share, 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 share. So today we are in the segment or in the section of Ask Mr. Cetro. Wow. Yes, Q and A. Ask Mr. Cetro. Remember, if you have questions, you're welcome. Just. Comment Just below. Just send your comments comment below. below and ask me any question. I'm telling you, I'll give you the answer that we. <laughs> okay, so one of our subscribers, Mr. Magnus Maduka from Maza Maza region of Lagos State, Nigeria, West Africa, Africa, the globe, is asking Mr. Cetro this question. He said, Mr. Cetro, mm -hmm. I am puzzling over this challenge. Mm -hmm. I just looked around uh -huh. and I'm seeing that all my four children. Yes. A all four children. Four. Uh, four. They are all looking like my landlord. Hey, y'all, come look at this. So, Mr. Cetro, can you just throw more lights on this? All my four children, they are looking like my landlord. Rebel. So, that's what Mr. Magnus from Mazamaza is asking. Mr. Rebel. Cetro. So, Rebel Mr. Cetro. Just four of your children are looking like the landlord. Uh, they, are not, they are not even much. I've seen situations that eight children were looking like the landlord. <laughs> <laughs> so, yours is. Just a very, very small issue. So I'm going to just give you about some few, maybe five prolific situations or scenarios that can be responsible for your children looking like a landlord. Okay, now. Number one, most of the time you're not at home. It's part of the reason why your children will start looking like a landlord. You know, it's not that they are doing anything, but pregnancy as a way, according to, you know, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor in unprofessional medical science. According to my own philosophy, when a woman is pregnant, you have impregnated and you have gone to work, there is a kind of breeze that used to blow around 9 and 10, then 11 a.m. If that breeze blows and you're not around, it blows the picture, <laughs> you know what I mean? Now? It blows the picture of the landlord that is always at home. In a shop, it blows it downstairs. around the tummy of your wife. And it is possible if you start affecting the coloration, the skin coloration of your child inside the tummy and the nose and everything, even the eyebrows. Sometimes I've seen it, it has affected the hair. The hair of the landlord was gray and the baby came out gray. Ah! Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. That's uh, yes, What are you saying? Are you trying to say that that's your wife, that woman who actually slept with the landlord? Nah, or? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, it doesn't have to do with any sleeping eh? and other stuff. It just breathes. <laughs> Hey. In Igbo, they call it a cuckoo. In my way, a cuckoo. A cuckoo. <laughs> breeze. Breeze is blowing something. So, after, after, which type of breeze is that? I want to say it, what is saying. It usually happens around 9 and 11. Okay. And, and, so, what you do, Mr. Magnus, Mr. Magnus, what? That your name is even sounding so spiritual. I need to really ask the Google or Apple to explain further. Because when that breeze, you need to take leave. Ask for leave. Be at home between 9 and 11. Okay. Those are the periods that uh, people are living face to face. Some things happen. Some things okay. blows. It blows mm. from one room to the other. Maybe yeah. to the landlord's room. Maybe he doesn't want to use the all of the mouth. Okay. Let's see how it's going. So what's the number two reason? Why those four children of Mr. Mad Mossy can just be looking like the landlord? It is hereditary in nature. Yes. There are some family lineage. They are blood doesn't speak you know it doesn't speak directly on their own children uh -huh. it accepts foreign influences uh -huh. mm. it's only people that they love like if you check now mr magnus you you'll be in serious love to your with your landlord so when the hereditary trees it goes through your blood through your esophagus through what we call the phalantia fulin mm. through the phalantia fulin that is the pipe responsible for children's nose and teeth dentition but we discriminate don't worry about it i'm i know what i'm saying i went to school i went to the university of glasgow in the book to study this thing 
So they 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 they, they stop. We just work on it, and it begins to look for who is the most friendly person to our daddy. So it carries the picture of that person and just stamp it. And when the baby is coming out, it's as if they are printing something. Just printing yeah. it. The image of the landlord yeah. on yeah. AK, K, K. So now that is another point. Mr. Magnus, I hope you are watching. Just and I hope you are listening. No okay, number three reasons. Number three reasons. Don't play with this one. You have to buy enough matches in your house. So, Mr. Magnus, you need to ensure that you buy enough matches at home. Because I discovered that uh, this trait of people's children looking like their landlord, it happens a, a whole lot of time when the wife in a particular family starts borrowing too many matches from the landlord's house. Mm. Especially when the landlord's wife is not around. No, though. no, 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 no. Uh, the condition for that uh, transparency of uh, illuminantum for happen is that the wife of the landlord must have just been going out. Then the woman, uh, we the have to of go Mr. and Magnus. ask for matches from the landlord's house. And it will now happen that as they were looking for the matches, ah, they did not get the matches on time. Ah, they were looking for the matches. Ah, they did not get the matches. And Nepal took like, ah, ah. Yes, Nepal took like. So they had to stay longer looking for the matches together. And when they came out, they were sweating. What? Come on, stand here. I will lay you. Next time, you so almost. On landlords are trying. Was helping the woman to look for the matches. Matches, where are you? Matches, where are you? Matches. By the time they discovered the matches, the wife was just 15 minutes away to return. Then they, you know what I mean now? This is Anna Magnus. You are not stupid. You should know what I'm talking about. Okay, now. So, number, Mr. Magnus, I'm, and so many of our viewers, I hope you are watching, and I hope this is interesting. I want to ask Mr. Sergio, what's the first reason why Mr. Magnus' four children are looking at the Lionel's children, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Mr. Magnus, it's like um, you study lesiology in school. You know, when a man is, you know, is complicated with some studies that are not popular in the lesiology 404 if okay, you study nah. it in school is a principle that makes a man not to be able to you know what i mean as in not always available to super seven activity to write a script a programming language that causes for two mini mini <laughs> yeah. i don't know i don't know <laughs> Mr. Magnus, I do hope you understand this fourth point of Mr. Because by the time you understand this principle, you should go and gym. You need to gym and show that there is no need for your wife to be borrowing too many matches. <laughs> matches at home. Okay, that there is matches at home. The matches that can light anything. Light. Is with Mr. Magnus. Okay, Mr. Magnus, I do hope you understand. And how viewers, I do hope you understand that. Then the fifth reason, <laughs> Mr. Magnus' children are looking like the landlord. But Mr. Cetro's uh, answers are what? The last, this is the last reason. Mr. Magnus, please pick a pen and write this down. It will help you. It will help you. The last reason is so vital that in anywhere you go, you will not make mistake again. When you were about getting married to your wife, did you observe that she loves to give people freely? She dashes things out. So you need to work on her. She should not just be dashing things out easily like that. Pepper, sugar, salt, bone bitter. People should not just be coming to borrow things too much from her. She should be frugal. She should concentrate on you. Our frugality should not just be like, uh, you know what I mean? So you need to work on your wife. Let her stop be a free giver. giver. Mm. Okay. Mm. She should not be a free distributor. She's, she's like a distributing agency around that your compound. Okay. Mm. And how to cope that is that is need for deliverance. Okay. Deliverance of uncensored. <laughs> and once you are able to deliver this, you now need to make sure that she's not 
and two million. She needs to be working. Mm. It's better that she's working closer to you. And during break, also monitor her. Because she's your landlord today. She might be your mechanic tomorrow. <laughs> So, Mr. Magnus, I do hope with these few points of Mr. Cetros, I um, have been able to convince you and not to confuse you beyond the abbasbization of the accumulandum of the felicitation of the ego band. <laughs> that was. That pure water is not the truth. <laughs> so, Mr. Magnus, it's nice having you on this segment today, wherever you're watching from. And other viewers that have questions you want Mr. Cetro in his hilarious way to answer for you. I am here for you. <laughs> Dr. Cetro. And me. lastly, before we go, my advice to Mr. Magnus. If care is not taken, even you, you will start looking like your landlord. <laughs> if you don't pay attention to this, my advice. You yourself, you wake up one day and you'll be looking like a landlord. <laughs> so, please, if you like this vlog today, please don't forget to subscribe to Cetro's vlog so that I'll bring you more interesting content. I need to see your comments. Yeah. Comments. And your questions. Press the thumbs up, mm -hmm. like, share, mm -hmm. and see we will come your way next time. Bye-bye. We remain joking. Dial Cetro, love you. Yeah. Bye, the last now. <laughs>